It's nearly 2025, so it's time for you to build your own portfolio website. Or maybe you already have a site and want to give it more spice. Today we take a look at my portfolio and two UI libraries that helped me a lot. And let me tell you one thing. It is very, very easy nowadays to achieve something great, because actually you just copy and paste from UI libraries. But psst, you don't have that from here, okay? So let's get started. So yeah, the portfolio you can see in the background is actually my website. You can scroll down here, see some personal information. You have some nice effects here going on. A change log with a timeline with some effects. And yeah, simple contact form. And that's already the whole magic here. But yeah, let's jump into the code. It's actually a simple Next.js project. So basically a React project. Um, so everything you can see here is compatible with React or Next.js. So yeah, why do I chose Next.js? First of all, I love Next.js, but Next.js is an awesome tool for making a portfolio because you have fronted and and in one application and it's very very easy to deploy something to Vercel and yeah the project you can see here is still a bit under construction I mean I do a lot here on this portfolio and things are changing so don't blame me for things like wrong naming conventions on the files this will all change but not right now and before we start going through the actual effects, I want to give you four tips. Four tips for making a great portfolio. And the first tip is keep it clean and straightforward. Don't clutter it too much. Don't try too much. Just keep it clean. The second tip is think about what do you want to achieve. And based on that, decide. What do I mean with that? Maybe you make a portfolio for a job or you want to get more sponsorships with your portfolio. If you want to address for a job, then it's more clean, more simplistic, more straight to the point. But if it's just for fun, then you play around with a lot of effects and yeah, just try to impress people maybe. So you really need to find your niche and yeah, your way to express yourself. The third tip is keep in mind that everybody can see it. It's on the World Wide Web, it's public. So you should not display things like your home address or your personal number or any other personal information on there that should not be readable by anybody. And the last tip, the fourth tip is keep it up to date because I see it so often that people have portfolios from five years, 10 years ago and they are just not up to date. And yeah, maybe you're applying for a job at Google, Facebook, YouTube, I don't know. And they see your portfolio and then they have your CV and they are not, yeah, not the same, not up to date each other. Maybe the hiring manager finds your portfolio and is completely confused. You don't want that. And yeah, let's jump right in with the two UI libraries. And the first UI library is Eternity. Let us take a look at my webpage. And here we see, for example, this simple, clean, yeah, it's called vortex effect. This is actually from Eternity. Or when we scroll down, we have, for example, this link preview effect if you hover the change log. Also, something from Eternity. Then we go in the change log and we have this timeline effect here on the left side. Eternity again. And yeah, let's take a look at their page. So they have a clean homepage, as Eternity UI, and we have a lot of components here. So for example, the ones I use like link preview, as you can see here, or timeline like here, but they really have cool stuff like this GitHub globe, you might know, or what else do we have? We have Google Gemini effect. So if you scroll down then you get this really cool effect here, or you have things like sparkles, for example, which looks awesome, or whole sign-up forms. So as Eternity has a lot to offer. They're always making new stuff like these animated testimonials here, or I think there's this world map. Uh, I think at Versa we have something like that. And yeah, that's the first UI library that I use. How to use it? Actually, it's pretty easy. You just go on something you want to use, for example, link preview. And then you have always the code of the preview here. So that's how it's used. And you just need to install the dependencies. So for example, frame of motion here or CLSX or Tailwind merge. Maybe you need to add something sometimes in the next config or add something in the Tailwind config for some animation stuff. But everything is written down here and it takes you about five minutes to get it into your project and get it running. One thing I also have on my website is this get in touch button here on the top with this nice effect. And this is not from a UI library, but this is actually from a YouTube video called create the perfect button in Tailwind CSS and Frame Emotions. So if you want that button, go to that video. I'll link it down in the description. Shout out to Rhythmic for making such a nice button. And yeah, then we have the second UI library. And from the second UI library, I used things like, for example, this confetti animation. If you click that star here, or you see this dock. I love this dock. This is like the macOS native dock. But yeah, just built in the web. This is so cool. So I can you can go on my YouTube, LinkedIn or GitHub here. What else do I use? For example, when I refresh the page, the things get blurred in here, which is really cool. Or one effect which is awesome is this scroll animation here, 
or in general this animation with the text here going in two different directions. But Magic UI has so much more to offer. Let's go on their web page. I'm sorry for the flashbang. I don't know if they have a dark website. I don't think so. I'm so sorry. But uh, here in the components tab, we see things like the blur in or something like that I showed you before but they have more to offer. For example, this interactive icon cloud, which is very, very cool for portfolios. You can just, yeah, show your tech stack in here. Oh, we have this confetti here. Oh, I think we have bento grids here, which are very cool. Yeah, they look awesome as well. And one thing I also really like is this cool mode thing, which is a button and when you click that or when you click and hold, you get this nice animation and you can play around with that to achieve, yeah, really cool things. For example, I think this is emojis here. So a lot to do here with Magic UI. And yeah, the same as in S Eternity, you just have this installation guide here. Things are often built on top of Chetzian as well, for example, this cool mode here. And then you just see the code here. And yeah, how did I actually do that? For example, let's go on the main page of my website. Here we have some, for example, this vortex. So I just copy this vortex make a file called vortex.tsx, pack it anywhere in a UI folder and a components folder, for example. Then you can just call this here. Oftenly they have parameters to yeah, customize it for your needs. For example, base you for color or range uh, wide for the size of that, background color. Things are very self-explanatory and actually pretty easy. I told you it's pretty easy to build a portfolio nowadays because we have so much UI libraries. So you don't need to do everything on yourself. You just can't copy and paste things it's okay but don't tell anybody just tell everybody that you did it but yeah my final tip for you is don't overuse the effects one thing that i used to do and that is very tempting for you as well i think is to take all the nice magic ui or S eternity effects and put it into your web page and i know that this is tempting but don't do so because it looks cluttered very very fast and yeah just overwhelming when you go on somebody's website and everything is like I don't know shiny and flickering and wobbling around that's not how it's supposed to be keep it clean and keep it simple listen to the tips I told you and then I'm convinced that your portfolio will be looking great if you want to see more about UI libraries I have some videos on my channel for example origin UI which is built on top of Shetzi and it has awesome variants or simple tutorials how to use Shetzi Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye bye.